Hey guys, welcome back to another Greek how-to and today I am going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a luxury Shopify store something like this. Okay, so first open your Shopify and log into your account and go to online store and then select themes. Now I'm going to use the Dawn themes. So we just click on the customize after adding the Dawn theme. Now change the color scheme, so just click on it and click on the settings and then click on the color and then scheme 1. So from here, we're changing the background into color block or something like brown as well as the text. So you can change this according to your want. So let's include the solid button background. I will be adjusting the color of this. Now I am going to click on the header and then here I'm going to change the desktop logo position to the top center. And don't forget that here in the announcement bar you can adjust the text to say whatever you want. Now I am going to show you on how to upload your logo. So you're just going to go back to theme settings. Now you can click on the logo and then select image and then click on upload image. And here you can enlarge the size of your logo. Make sure that when you click on the header, you turn off the sticky header. So just go down, click on the header, and then go down. And then here you just have to click on the st sticky header and then click on none option. Now I'm going to show you on how to fill in this image banner here. I'm going to remove this heading text. So let's click on this heading text. And then click on the remove block option. Now I am going to turn off the outline button style. And then for the actual image banner right here, I am just going to turn the overlay obesity to zero. So next we're going to go ahead and create the image banner for this section. The For the image header, I'm going to use Canva. And then I'm going to use this blank white template okay so you can use anything now let's go to the elements and i'm going to use this one with three grids and then change the spacing into zero and finally let's go to our uploads this are the image that i wanted to use so let's just drag this and put it in the frame and then right after that you just have to go to text and then add subheading or add a heading so you can change the font style the color and it's up to you if how are you going to use that okay so for me i'm just going to adjust the size of this one so let's add a background for this one here so just click on it then right after that just click on the effects option at the top and then select the background and then turn the roundness to zero and of course spread to zero so you could achieve this background and then right after that you just have to click on the share button at the top right corner of your screen to save or download this image banner so just click on the share button and then click on the download button you can see this here and then make sure to choose the png file to download the better quality for your image banner now to upload your image banner, just select image and then choose the image banner and then click on upload and you would be able to see the section. Now you can also change the opacity of the image and you can change the banner height into medium so it would not be very large. Okay. Next is I am going to add my shop categories. So I'm just going to click this arrow right here and add a section. And then I'm just going to select the collection list. And here finally, you can go ahead and insert in your individual product collections. So just click on the select collections. So in order to create your collections, you just have to click on the create collections and it will be redirected to this page. Now I'm just going to add image and then select the collection that I want to add and click on open. So here you just have to select or create your title and your descriptions and select the save button and you'd be able to see here your collection list. And now let's add the about sections. I'm just going to click here and then I'm going to select the image with text. And wait until the about as section is added. 
So now here you just have to click on this section and then edit according to the information of your store and then make sure to link a page and then once you've added your link to the button label we're going to go ahead and add a picture for this section now let's go back to canva and then make sure to use a template something like this and then go to elements and then select this grid now you just have to adjust the grid according to the design of your about as section so I'm just going to duplicate this one and arrange it. Now I'm going to upload all of the pictures that I need. So I'm just going to drag this one by one and then place it in the frame. Take note that you can also change the color of the background. So you just have to click on it and then select the color and then select the color that you want or the best color for your background. Now select the share button and then download it and then select the PNG option and click on download. Now you just have to click on the section and then select image. Now you just have to upload here the about as image. Next is how to add featured collections. You just have to click on the add section and click on the featured collection option and then just wait until it appears in here. Now you just have to click on it and then select the collections that will be displayed in this section. Next is the review sections. You just have to click on the add a section to template and then click on the multi column. And I am going to adjust this to four columns. Now we can insert your text here. Next, I am going to show you on how to create a customer review profile. So just open Canva and I will teach you on how to make this one. So first just go to the elements and then go to the all section and add this frame okay so just have to adjust it okay so let's change the color of this one into white and also the main color background let's change this to block and then let's adjust the size of the first frame that we added now it would be look like this now let's add this circular frame and drag it to the upper center area now go to the upload section and here upload a profile of the customer. And then after that, you just have to go back to the elements and then search for five stars. Then go and see all. Now you just have to select this one that is free and then change the color of the five stars to white. Okay, so after that, just have to select share and then download this one. Then select the PNG and it would be look like this. You just have to upload everything here. Next, I am going to show you on how to create a slideshow section. So you're just going to go here and then you're going to click slideshow. Now you can insert the text that you want. And do not forget to fill in that button label. So let's fill in all of the needed information here. So I'm going to type out summary collection. And of course the description or you have to make sure that you added the button link when people go into tap on that they will be able to get your link and proceed to the collection so now let's go to canva and create our slideshow so I'm going to use this grid and then go to the uploads and I'm going to upload here the pictures that I wanted to use so for example these pictures now I'm just going to click on the share button click on the download option and then select png and i'm going to select image and upload the image in here from my collection and here's how it's going to look so you can just repeat this step for the second part of the slideshow now let's go and create our blog post section so i will be using the multi-row now just click on the add section to template and then select the multi-row then wait for it to pop up here so you can see it now now you can go ahead and insert a picture here and then your text now that i've done that this is how the blog post section is going to look and you could add the link to your blog post right here now let's add a sign up for the email so we're just going to select this click on the email sign up so here you just have to type out your email so that the people would be able to see it here. So you can just explore 
the settings in here and how to improve your email sign up. Now I am going to add the another image banner. I am going to add my text here and then I'm just going to remove one of these button labels and then I'm going to insert a picture into this section and into the section just select your image and upload your image here and then add the second image as well. And here's how it looks once we've added the second picture. And lastly, we're going to add the Let's Connect page. So I'm just going to insert an image banner and I'm going to remove all of these elements on top. So let's just remove the things that we don't need for our Let's Connect image banner. Now let's go and use the Canva again. And here you can see the Let's Connect section that I have created. So basically you just add whatever icons you want. So I added an Instagram icon, a Facebook icon. After that, you just have to click on the share button and click on the download button. Make sure to choose the PNG and click on download. Now let's go back here and select the image and then click on add image and select the one that we have created from our gallery and then click on open and then click on done and finally you have completed all of the sections that we have to do in order to make a luxury shopify website now you can enjoy your brand new website so this is everything that we have created so Make sure to follow all of those steps so you could be able to create an amazing Shopify website to attract more customers to your store. Now I am very confident that you can do this as well. And that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more quick how-to videos next time. Adios!